hi there guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Paper Mario TTYD. In the last part, we found out that Zip Tote was actually dupless on our train. Then we stopped at Riverside Station, so we can refuel, but somebody lowered the bridge, and we're just making our way through here. And we're fighting enemies and whatnot, so that we can raise that bridge again. And this part, we're going to be raising that bridge. Just like I raised the roof. So let's get on with the. Okay, there's an error message on my screen, and I'm gonna ignore it for now. If this entire episode explodes, I don't know. I really don't know. I'll check that in a few minutes, whatever. Anyways, just still killing some pokies here. Might come as. Might cut some of this out. Bleh, still not doing good with the English language here. But I am doing good with the dodging, thank god. Not too badly done. And then Bobbery should kill this guy. And they're gonna drop a whole crap load of stock points and we're gonna level up and that's gonna be awesome! So, of course... Nothing else to level up but badge points, because that's what we level up every time. And now to see what badges I can put on. Let's see, what is there? Double dip ain't bad. Peekaboo's good. Damage dodge is something I definitely want. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Let's see, what's Power Rush do? Uh, that's not bad. i put that on. Pretty lucky's okay. Let's see, power smash, not something I want. Oh, uh, what can I spend this one on? What's HP drain? Drop Mario's attack power by one, but nah, I don't really want that. Let's see, last stand, drop the damage your ally takes by one half. Well, in case I ever go into danger, let's just put on power rush. And how do I get up there? Oh, I guess that's the place we need to get to. Because I totally screwed up in this rolling area last time. Badly. Yet again, ignoring the buzzy beetles, or maybe not. Let's just special these guys out of existence. Uh, or not. You know, let's just bub out and bast them. Why not? Because that should kill all of them. Or not. I probably should have flipped over those parabuzzies first. But hey, it took out the one guy, the uh, poison. Poison Pokey. Eh? Eh? Not really. I hate fog. I hate it so much. And Bobber can't even blow that guy up. I have an idea. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip over this guy, killing him, and then this Parabuzzy is immune to everything, so, yeah, that's bad. He has seven defense, that's pretty damn tough. But he should be dying here. Oh, there he goes. Not a great fight, but I did it, so, whatever. Please don't hurt me, Mr. Parabuzzy. Okay, and now we gotta go to the right, jump, and I think we gotta fall down this hole, actually. Alright, let's just come over here, and I miss a jump badly. That's unfortunate, but I do believe we are going to be getting over to the area that we need to go to. So, plus side of that, and get a drag shroom that I'm just gonna throw away. And ignore the parabuzzy, because I don't care about him. Ooh, there's a key up there. But we can't get that until we... A Goomba? What? Why would you put Goombas here? I kill these guys with a fourth of my power. Why am I fighting... I don't understand this. I've never understood why they put Goombas in this room. There's more of them. Don't worry. I attack with half power and I still kill them easily. Which is why I really, 
really don't understand why they put Goombas in here. But you do gotta kill all of them, actually, now that I remember. So let's just ground pound on this guy. I think there's some sort of badge you can get that just lets you wipe out these guys by touching them. But I don't remember where that is, and I don't feel like getting it. So, yeah, we're fighting Goombas. The strongest enemy ever. And they drop one coin and one sort of health and or flower power. All of them. And all of them have three Goombas! These guys were in Chapter 1 and now they're just completely pathetic. Seriously, I'm gonna have to rant about this, but why are there Goombas in here? Why? This isn't fun. I mean, sure, it makes me feel like a god, but Jesus Christ. Oh, thanks, sweet Jesus, we finished that. So now we can hit all these switches. Have to hit that one one time, this one three times, obviously. And they'll glow red when you've done that anyway, so... And with that, we can go up there, which is going to have some awesome super happy goodies up here. It seems like there'd be something over here. I guess not. Maybe there is something if I jump. No? Okay. Whatever. Ooh. That looks suspicious. Well, I wonder if we can get this by using coops. If not, I know a way we have to get it. Does it make sense? No, we can just get it with coops. Alright. Cool beans. But in this room, we get ourselves... You got Ultra Boots! They're red! And that is the highlight of them. It's Toadette again, who we're not going to read for. Pretty much, they work the same way as the Super Hammer. You jump, and then you twirl around, and you do an awesome jump. And then you can use it to hang on to pipes and move around. And you can also use it in battle to do a whole bunch of damage, and you can use it to knock things down from where they are. And this place is cool. Or this power is cool. Whatever. They also gave this power to Luigi in Super Paper Mario. Which is why, again, I love Luigi. But now I can get this key over here by using Piccolo. Do that. And then simply jump in place. Twirl that around. And... We're good to go. Because over here, we just have to curl up into a ball and knock that out of here. So now we can get our asses out of here, which is cool. Granted, I would do things right. It's kind of weird on that, because if you, you do the swirly immediately, it's just going to move you around in a circle, like an idiot. So, I highly suggested that you wait at least like a fourth of a second there. But anyways, there's a badge in this room, but I'm not going to be getting it, because I don't care about it. I think it's a P-Down D-Up badge, which decreases your power and raises your defense, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't care for it. I don't care for any of those badges. At all. So now we can use that elevator that we saw earlier that was broken. Because now we got a key. Thank God I took out Piccolo, because now I can run everywhere. And I believe that ladder is somewhere over to the left over here. And with this, we'll actually be finishing Riverside Station. And therefore, finishing day two. So let's just stick this in here. Because I believe the last room is directly out of this elevator. It's an old tiny elevator. Hang on one second, that's my cat, and I don't want him getting in the recording. Stupid cat. Anyways. Mario, old boy, what are the squidgy fellas over there? Well, I should think they're the perpetrators behind the drawbridge to buckle. Let's make haste. Phone the switch and switch it back. Alright, well, we just gotta hammer these guys off. 
and you can actually use Bobber here to explode them off, which is surprisingly effective. So it's not a bad idea to throw Bobbery in there while you're hammering stuff. When you can. Because after you blow them off enough, blow them, blow them off, uh, enough, what? Blow them off enough, you can just hit the switch, which opens up to another switch. And with this switch, we can actually raise a draw bitch for good. Sweet Jesus. That was overly convoluted and complicated. And that's pretty much all the fighting we're going to be doing in this entire chapter. Other than the boss, because every chapter has a boss, and... Spoilers, we're going to be facing a boss. I said boss a lot there. Anyways... I think it'd be better of us to go back onto that train so we can leave and get on our way to that crystal star. Not much left in this chapter. We're just sweet because this, I'm gonna have to take care of this in like two recording sessions compared to the rest of them, which is like three or four. Cool beans. Anyways, this close call that we saw earlier, you get that with the ultra boots. If the ultra boots work, there we go. Now we can just use that to get this close call P, which I might use if I have way too many BP. Just save over here. And we're going to be sleeping, so I don't get the purpose of that recovery block. Whatever. Back on the train we go! Over the bridge and through the woods to Poshley Heights we go! I just got an email and it got in the recording and that makes me really sad. They're leaving these toads here, I guess. Seems like I always get YouTube comments only in the middle of recording. Only. I swear to God, YouTube knows. It's evil. The evil YouTube gods are malicious. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. Thank you for riding the XX Express. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. And that's all we can do, so let's go to bed. Oh, wait, let's save really quick. Just for the purpose of easy transitioning for me next part. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and the next part we will finish up our ride on the X XX Express, which I still have trouble pronouncing. Anyways, see you guys.